Welcome y'all, this is Annie and I'm doing part two of my Southbound Wax Collection. Um, if you're interested on in how I get the best results with Southbound in my house, watch part one. Let's go ahead and dive in. I already did clamshells in part one, but this second part is going to cover wax cakes, bakery bags or shape bags, and loaves. So first of all, I wanted to kind of give an example of something and how it might look in the three different shapes. I'll post the prices up here. I believe wax cakes are now $8.45. They're five to six ounces a piece, so a little bit bigger than a regular souffle. And then bakery bags are eight to eight and a half ounces. They're a bunch of different shapes. They're so cute. They're one of my favorite um, sizes to pick up from Southbound. And then I believe they are $12 currently. And then the loaves are 15 to 16 ounces. They're decorated and I believe they are $21 currently. So first up, I'll show you an example of the wax cake and what it might look like if you get that same scent in a bakery bag or a loaf. So this is Vanilla Rose Champagne. I picked this up in one of the Valentine releases, I believe in 2022. And the scent notes are Rosy Darling, which is rose jam. It's a lush type. And Sweet Fizzy Vanilla Champagne. So you can see it's a souffle cup, but then there's actually a decent amount of wax on top because of this big rose. It's very pretty. Um, I can't remember if these are layered or not. I'll show y'all that. There's not a ton of glitter. It's not excessive. Just the right amount. And if you like rose scents, this is a good rose scent. Um, I like rose kind of in the springtime. I've really burned myself out in the last year or so. Um, but you see, okay. So it's got the white fading into the pink. Very pretty. But this has got a nice touch of fizzy. It's not overly fizzy like some fizzy pop blends are. And to me, this is predominantly the sweet rose jam um, with a little bit pumped up of that citrus kick that rose jam has. If you have this, I would definitely recommend double bagging it. I have everything double bagged already, but certain scents like this, I actually kind of triple bag just because I don't want um, a sugar cookie scent to start smelling like rose. So this is an example of what it looks like if it's in the wax cake. And then I've been working on this bakery bag in this set this year same scent notes. There's the size and tons of shapes. I'm going to show you all the shape examples. So it looks like a candy with decorative on top. Kind of like a chocolate you might get in a fancy chocolate box. Oh, I like this one. This is really pretty. Uh, like an old-fashioned cameo jewelry piece. is a heart with a bunch of piping decorated on top like a frosted cookie there is a flower a different style of heart a little bit more angular on the top and um, I've melted quite a few pieces out of this bag, actually, so um, there was a variety. I think there were some kissy lips, some other hearts, some miniature rose sizes. And when I melt in um, the hot plate dishes, um, something like this, this is way too big to put into one. For example, if I put this into the two-in-one candle warmer dishes, which those are decently sized dishes. I would cut this at least in half, if not less than half to put into that dish. And then as far as putting into the Julianne home warmers, I would cut this because it's thinner than some of these other pieces. Like this is a thicker piece. Um, I would possibly cut this into thirds. 
um, maybe fourths, especially since it's such a strong scent. I think I'd probably go with the fourths because it can um, be a little overpowering if you have too much going in different warmers. And this one, this one's thick. If I was putting it in the candle warmers dish, I could put just this one by itself or cut this in half for the two, two different dishes with the Julianne home warmers. The problem with these shapes are they're so cute. Sometimes it's hard to cut them. I know I've pulled this one out of the bag multiple times this year and put it back in because I was like, I'm not ready to melt this one. <laughs> And then if you order a loaf, this is what it's going to look like. So uh, the size comparison, obviously the baby rag is not a solid block of wax, but it's one of the regular like 15 ounce size pans. And then it always has something decorative on the top. Um, I'm not going to pull this one out of the pan. I do believe it is also layered like pink down below. Um, but yeah, this is one thing I really love about Rachel's wax. She just pays so much attention to detail. It's not overdone with the decoration or the glitter. There's beautiful colors used and it's a consistent across the different shapes that you can get. So honestly, whether you wanted a large amount, like a loaf, or you wanted to try it in a wax cake, I think you would be pleased with whatever you got just because they're all honestly lovely. So I wanted to show y'all that. Let me move this aside and we'll dive into wax cakes, then bakery bags, then loaves. All right. All right. Continuing on with the Valentine's theme from the previous wax cake. The next one I have is buried love spell and that's buried as in the fruit, not the grave. This is boysenberry, elderberries, strawberries, guava, and pomegranate blended with Love Spell. And Love Spell, back in the day, I feel like my college years, I would drench myself in Love Spell or Coconut Lime Verbania from Bath and Body Works. <laughs> oh, I haven't worn either of those in years, but um, sometimes there's some really good blends with Love Spell and it changes it up enough to me not feeling like I just have spilled my bottle of body spray. Um, this one is really pretty. I haven't actually melted it, but I do like the way it smells on cold. And I love the details of these little heart shaped glitters. As you can see, you get a lot of wax. It's not just your basic souffle. And I'm not going to pop all of these out, but just to give you all an idea, isn't that pretty how the pink fades into purple and blue? Oh, yeah, this smells so good. It brings out the orange that's in Love Spell. I wouldn't say this is actually an overwhelming orange scent. It's really more buried, but I'm really getting from the love spell part, that orange note. And eventually I'm gonna get around to melting this. I thought I would get around to it this year around Valentine's Day, but um, maybe next year. <laughs> I guess I could melt it any time of the year. Next up is an Easter scent, and this is Happy Easter. It's mango sorbet, pink sugar, and fizzy orange soda. I haven't melted it. I really like mango scents. I'm just gonna show you all the top, really cute Easter egg decoration. Um, otherwise, this will be a very, very long video. Um, next up is some summertime scents. First up is Under the Sea, which is berries, citrus, and sugary sweetness with a refreshing breeze of salty sea air. I feel like Southbound does a really good job when Salty Sea Air is in a blend. I feel like it doesn't overtake things that, you know, the other blunt notes that are in the blend, like um, experience with some other vendors. So 
I haven't melted this one, but it is actually kind of on my list to melt this summer because I was wanting to do something because of the Little Mermaid movie that came out. And um, I just haven't had a chance to melt this one yet. So I'll hopefully have a review for all sometime soon. Next up is Island Cotton Candy. This is tropical fruits, sugared oranges, lemons, limes, and cotton candy frosting. Okay, I have melted like a really large sample size of this sometime last year, I believe. This one is so good. It smells amazing. It is very fruity and citrusy and that cotton candy in there. Oh, I had to smell it again. Yeah, it's so good. And I've smushed it a little bit, unfortunately, but... I remember from the sample too, um, it was a really good throw. So I feel like this would do great in a big space or if you only had a few warmers in a room. Next up is Paradise City and this is melon, blackberry, oh, there's a smudge of wax. Um, melon, blackberry, vanda or vanda orchid. I've never heard of that flower before. Um, violets, vanilla bean, and musk. I have not melted this one, but it has a cute blue rainbow on it. Next up is a bakery section, so blueberry zucchini ice cream, and it's sweet blueberry parfait, creamy vanilla ice cream, and freshly baked zucchini bread. I haven't melted this one because, y'all, I can't really do much zucchini bread anymore. But it's got this cute little blue um, shape, like a strudel or something like that. I don't know. Pastry shape on top. And I know that one is a popular one I've seen people request a few times in the group. So um, next up is cherry cookie cheesecake. And this is cherry shortbread cookies and creamy cheesecake. And it's got this pinkish red cookie on top with like icing drizzle. I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, I can't remember the cherry on this. I haven't melted it before either. It's not very strong on the cherry. I really get more of the bakery note. That shortbread cookie really comes out. But just like a light hint of the cherry, honestly, I'd have to melt it to know which kind of cherry. But based off of cold, I'm guessing it's that cherry almond or cherry vanilla um, instead of the cherry candy. But I haven't melted it, so it could change on warm. Right, those are the wax cakes I have. Um, I tend to order the wax cakes if it's something I've never tried before and I'm unsure on the sense if it's something that I will like or won't like or if I want to order something to pick it up as a gift for somebody. Um, I feel like it's a great size. It's really cute. Um, so most of the time if it's a scent I've had before and I am wanting to reorder it I will get it either in a bakery bag or a loaf. So I don't really have a lot of the wax cakes to show y'all, but let me put you these away and we'll hop into the bakery bags. All right, uh, next is the bakery bags. I'm gonna start with the ones that are kind of laundry. I don't have a lot of them. And one that's not exactly laundry, but it sort of fits in that fresh slash clean slash fruity space. Um, first up is Winter Lemon, and this is a bakery bag. The scent notes are crisp, peppermint, vanilla bean, and fresh clean laundry. I have not sm I have not melted this yet. I have smelled it. It smells really good with that mint in there. I'm very curious to try it. Um, I just have not yet. Um, next up is another laundry scent, and I have this folded up in the bag. It's Sea Salt Blossom, Aloha Vanilla, and Lavender Vanilla, which the scent notes are aquatic florals. Sea moss, sweet mango, vanilla absolute, creamy coconut, lavender, and sweet vanilla. This was a limited edition blend back from 2021, I think. And I have a few big pieces left in here. I don't particularly care for this one. There's 
part of this blend is just very, very strong soapy laundry, more kind of leaning detergent-y. Yeah, definitely smells like a detergent, and it's been a while since I melted it, so I had to re-smell just to make sure I was thinking I was just talking about the same right scent, but um, not one I would repurchase, so kind of probably need to eventually finish this off or give it to somebody who likes um, laundry scents more than I do. And this isn't exactly a laundry, it's more of a fresh scent. I haven't melted it yet, so... Um, Maybe that'll change our warm, but I do really like how this smells, and this is spring break. I picked this up earlier this year. Um, fresh rainwater, citrus, ocean mist, shimmering greens, watermelon, cantaloupe, and fresh sliced honeydew melons. It surprisingly doesn't smell overwhelmingly melony. Um, it's more fresh and rain, a little green, a little fruit. Um, if you've tried this, let me know down below. I don't remember if this was a new scent earlier this year or if it's something that's been offered before, but I might try this before the summer's over. All right, let me move these out of the way and we're gonna dive into coffee scents. Now, Southbound has a lot of different coffee blends. I haven't tried nearly all of them, but I have found some I really love from them and then some that I wasn't a big fan of. So first up, I'm gonna start with sugar cookie latte and this is freshly baked sugar cookies with sweet vanilla, roasted coffee beans, and sweet cream. Oh my goodness, this is so good. If you like a coffee that has a touch of bakery in it, this is excellent and not bitter. Um, another good one, which I don't have any more to show y'all, is her Cafe Cream Puff, I believe. I'm going to show you all the shapes because some of them are just so cute. Um, well, those are that's the ones I'm looking for. Here's some with some of that little coffee logo. No? Oh, maybe I'm thinking of a different bag where I have used all of them. <laughs> okay. Well, all of these have like little um, glitter on there. Oh, that smells so good. Very creamy, sweet coffee. And it's nice that the sweetness doesn't come off maple or caramel to me. And like I said, the coffee is not a bitter coffee. So more of that medium roast with sugar cookie latte. And I would say this one and Cafe Cream Puff are probably my two favorite coffees from Southbound but there are several others that I do really enjoy. Next up is Coffee House Eggnog, and this is fresh roasted coffee, butter, coconut flakes, vanilla bean, maple syrup, roasted nuts, and spiked eggnog. And this might be the one I was going to show y'all. I do like this one. The coffee note is a little bit stronger, and I don't know if it's because the eggnog note um, can be quite aggressive. Oh, it's so good though. That nutmeg just hits you when you open this bag. This is what I was going to show y'all. Isn't that cute? This little coffee on top of this. And sometimes if these shapes are not too tall, I will drop the whole thing into the Julian home warmers. You can also cut them in half. Um, it's up to your preference. You kind of decide what you want, but oh, this smells so good. Eggnog is a scent that um, sometimes it's done really well in wax and sometimes it's just really unpleasant. This is the, one of those times where it was done really well. It goes well with the coffee. Um, you get both parts and it's not something I would melt year round as far as a coffee scent, but during the fall, especially really mainly around Christmas, it's pleasant. And then the last bakery bag of coffee I have is Gingerbread Man Latte. And this is Gingerbread Cream Swirled Latte. And the bag's a little bit stained, but there's nothing wrong with the wax in here. 
um, some scents just tend to stain the bakery bags a little bit. But look at this little gingerbread man. He's quite hefty. And like I was saying in part one, I feel like Southbound has a pretty good gingerbread oil. The spices are not um, burnt almost or bitter smelling. And it's really nice with that coffee. It's not one I can melt a ton of during the holidays just because I don't um, want my house to smell like gingerbread a ton. But I do enjoy it a few times. And the coffee does um, make it feel like something I'd pop in on like a holiday weekend in the morning or something like that. Alright, those are the coffee scents that I currently have. And let's move on to fall bakery and other fall type scents. And then into, I guess, the winter scents. First up is one of my favorite scents from Southbound. It is Good Morning Pumpkin. And it is pumpkin pecan waffles and zucchini bread. And I know that is kind of a simple combination, but it is done just so well. This is deep, rich, decadent gourmand. It's heavy, it's cozy and warm, and it is perfect for the fall. Um, I did test it recently because I wanted to see if I could still melt this blend, even though there's a zucchini bread and I still was able to enjoy it. Um, so if you like these kind of blends, it's actually in her pre-order right now that closes on Wednesday, August 9th. Um, highly recommend it. It's a great performer. Oh, it's just deep, decadent, rich bakery. It is a heavy scent, so just be forewarned if you don't like kind of heavy, dense bakery scents. This might not be for you, but otherwise it's perfect. <laughs> it's so good. All right. <clears throat> Next up is the Con Pie Cookie Jar, and this is fresh pecans smothered in pralines and butter, baked crust, super sugar cookies, frosted sugar cookies, sugar cookie dough, and vanilla shortbread cookies. <laughs> Ooh, a mouthful. Um... I haven't melted this one on a while, so I don't remember what it smells like, honestly. Yeah, kind of like that caramely um, filling that you get with a pecan pie. Yeah. There's a variety of different shapes, like a little miniature lattice pop top pie. Tiny little frosted cupcake. You could melt this any time of year. The pecan pie makes me think of Thanksgiving and fall, so I chose to pop it into the fall bakery category. But any scent, honestly, can be melted whenever you feel like it. You don't have to go by how I have it organized for this video. Next up is oatmeal chai cream puffs, and this is oatmeal cookies, chai, buttery pastry dough, creamy vanilla custard, sweet cream and confectioner sugar. Now, I don't think I've showed one of the cream puff blends before, but her cream puff blend is a bakery blend that she has a lot of different combinations with. This oatmeal chai, a coffee one, like I was mentioning before. Um, I have another one that's lemon cream puff. I've had strawberry pound cake cream puff. Um, there's a lot of different varieties and her cream puff blends are very popular for good reason, that kind of base, the buttery pastry dough, creamy vanilla custard, sweet cream, and confectioner sugar is just really good. Um, very creamy, and there's that buttery flaky note of pastry, um, and it pairs well with a lot of things. This is definitely a spicy blend, both between that oatmeal and the chai, but it's a nice kind of spiced Fall Bakery. Oops, I'm gonna show you this one. It looks so cute. Look at that. It's like a pie slice with, is that an acorn or a strawberry on top? I'm not quite sure. Okay, that one took me forever to get back into the bag. Sorry about that. 
Next up is pumpkin crunch cake, and this is creamy pumpkin pie filling, rich condensed milk, baked yellow cake, melted butter, pecans, and spice. Um, I think pumpkin crunch cake is like a single oil, so a lot of vendors have it, and there's actually two versions of it um, from what I've seen in fragrance catalogers. Ignore the bag, it's a little yellow, but I think there's just something in the pumpkin that makes it that color. And I'll show you all the shapes. It's kind of jack-o'-lantern and then a pumpkin shape. I am not a big pumpkin fan, but this is a good pumpkin scent. It's a nice pumpkin bakery that doesn't have too much heavy spice in it. Just a little bit, but you get enough of the sweetness of the bakery. And I don't find it to be too overwhelming. I would probably reorder, reorder it. There is another vendor that has pumpkin crunch cake that I actually enjoy a little bit more. Um, Soul's Inspiration, if you've ever ordered from her. I think she has the best pumpkin crunch cake that I've ever tried. Um, but this one is a really good one as well. And I'll probably finish this bag up this fall. Another pumpkin scent that is a new one from last year is Pumpkin Season. And this is Pumpkin Butter. Vanilla bean pretzel, honeyed graham cracker, pumpkin pie, toasted marshmallow, and smoked woods. <clears throat> A lot of scents in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I have melted this once. And I still don't know what I think about this. It is a very unusual pumpkin scent. That touch of woods and the honeyed graham cracker bring something different to this. And... Honestly, it smells almost like there's some crunchy leaves underneath the foot in this blend. Look at that. Isn't that a cute shape? And her bakery bags always have a variety of some big shapes like that and some smaller ones like this. Um, I would probably pop just one that was this size into the Julianne home warmers and one to one and a half or two um, if I wanted it to go all day in the candle warmers. These would be cut up into a bunch of pieces and go through a bunch of warmers. They're very thick. <clears throat> if anybody else has tried this scent though, let me know down below because I don't feel like I have heard anyone talking about it and I melted it last haul. I still don't know what I think. I don't know if I like it or if I don't like it or if I just need to melt it again and see if it'll grow on me. I don't know if... I'm not a big fan of the graham cracker notes sometimes. Sometimes it's really good in blends, but it's really kind of 50-50 for me. Sometimes I like it and sometimes I don't. So I don't know if that's kind of what's growing me because you definitely get that kind of honey graham cracker note in here. And yeah, still undecided. Next up, some non pip pumpkin bakery is orange cranberry scones. And this is tart cranberry, orange peel, and warm vanilla scones. I rebagged a bakery bag, but isn't that cute? There's this huge croissant, a little slice of bread, a miniature donut. Back here you can see this jam jar. This is one of my favorite blends from Southbound. It is so good. I will melt this any time of the year, but I especially love it in the fall and the winter. Um, there is definitely a like an almond scone note in here with the orange and the cranberry. It's not a punchy on the face orange. It's more like there was an almond based dough that had some orange zest in it and then it's got the cranberry sprinkled through the dough. Um, not overpoweringly orange so don't let that scare you away. I love this one so much that I also picked up a loaf last year and I just haven't cut into it um, yet. This is one of my favorite fall scents. Favorites from Southbound as well. And she hadn't poured it, um, 
Oh, I don't remember. I feel like it wasn't poured in 2021 or I missed the offering. So I was really excited last year when she offered it. And I took one of the bags out of the double bagging so you could see the details a little bit more. But this is blueberry pecan waffles and it's blueberry pecan waffles covered in maple syrup and brown sugar. It's this dark blue with a cookie on top. This performs so well. This is the blend that I talked about where I had some that was hitting that four year mark and it hadn't even been double, double bagged. It was shapes from a bakery bag and it still went down the hallway into the other parts of the house. Um, such a great performer and it smells so good. It's like that blueberry muffin if you get the Jiffy Mix and pumpkin pecan waffles. I don't find the maple to be strong in this, honestly. Oh, it's so good. And you get the tiniest, tiniest hint of like a bakery cinnamon and sugar. I hesitate to even say that it's got that because I don't want people to be scared away. But I think that's part of the pecan waffles blend. And oh, now I want to melt this. Um, but I did pick up two loaves last year just because I was worried she wouldn't offer it again this year. And I love it so much. I want to be able to melt as much as I want this fall and winter. Next up is another favorite. And, oh, I guess while well, I am thinking of it... <clears throat> Her current pre-order, I already mentioned, um, she's pouring Good Morning Pumpkin um, that's in the current pre-order, but Pumpkin Season is also being offered, and this next one that I'm about to show y'all, which she did not pour last year. No, she poured it, but it was blended with something else, and I wasn't interested in the blend with the other notes in it. I just wanted the classic version. Um, this is from 2020, I believe. Um, so it'll be interesting melting this this fall. Um, the bag is definitely discolored, but this is a fantastic scent, great performer, and it's just that classic fall scent, fall festival. Spiced apples, crushed cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, and a hint of gingerbread. I'll show y'all some of the shapes. It's a little acorn. This is all I have left in this and so I'm probably going to go in and order some of this in case it doesn't get offered next year because this is one of those ones that I kind of don't feel like I feel like I've missed something if I don't melt it during the fall. Um, I do think it is actually quite similar to a Bath and Body Works scent. And um, the name of it is slipping my mind right now. I'll pop it. I'll go through my candles. <clears throat> I think it is. Oh, what is this? It's not leaves. Sorry, my brain is tired and I figure this out. And now I have completely forgotten what it was. So I will go back to my stack and resmell it and kind of put in the comments here what it is. But it's very, very similar to a Bath and Body Works candle from the fall so collections. Um, it's great. If you like these types of scents, it's not too spicy, but it has that definitely has that fall spice in here with the apple. And enjoy it. Y'all, this is Editing Annie, and I dug those candles out. This is not an exact dupe for Harvest Gathering from Bath & Body Works, but it is very similar in my opinion. If you haven't smelled that, it's kind of in the same area of scents as leaves. But compared to leaves, this is much less spicy, and it's sweeter with more of an apple focus in the scent. I was describing this to someone a while ago and I told them, you know, the spices are not fighting for dominance here. They're playing more of a harmony note to the apple playing the melody in this blend. I feel like this is so much more than just a spiced apple scent. 
maybe because of the nostalgia aspect for me, but um, hopefully this kind of helps if you're looking at this scent and wondering, you know, what to compare it to. All right, and then I think this is the last fall blend, and it's not a bakery. This is more of like a fall woodsy or fall fresh, and this is Haunted Hayride. This is a really popular one. She poured it last year, and I picked it up and tried it for the first time, and this is fantastic, y'all. It's balsam, vetiver, cedarwood, fresh pine, crisp leaves, and berries. I love vetiver and scents, and kind of a sucker for whenever I see it listed to pick up the fragrance. Mm. This is so good. You definitely get that woodsiness and then kind of the fresh crunch of leaves underneath your foot. Um, I don't find it to be like very forward. It's more of like a fresh outdoors in the woods with the fall leaves around you underfoot. Um, so good. I would order it again. I would get this in a loaf, honestly. Um, let me know down below if you try this. I know it is a fan favorite. All right, let me move these out of the way and we'll get into the next category. Okay. I missed a few bags when I was recording this section as well as I've had a few pre-orders arrive before I've been able to finish up all this wax collection. So I'm just gonna pop a few items in here. If I've already talked about them, I'm not talking about them again. Um, first up, I have added another loaf of Good Morning Pumpkin and two more bags of this. And then I got another loaf of Fall Festival. more of the fall scents. These were new to me, but I am loving them. I've melted this already. It's spider cider. This is ground cinnamon hot apple cider, allspice, fresh clove, and maple. This is delicious and nice spiced apple. And then I just melted this and it is fantastic. I'm so glad I picked this up. It is delicious. Next time, this is going to be a loaf. So this is apple of my eye and it's apple cider donuts and freshly baked sugar cookies with sweet vanilla. You do get that cookie note in here. The apple cider does not um, overpower it and the apple cider, it kind of reminds me of that sugared cider from Teddy B's if you've had that apple. It's kind of syrupy, lightly spiced uh, apple note, um, almost a little bit like a baked apple if you haven't had that one with some cinnamon and then some more cinnamon sugar in this blend with that vanilla sugar cookie. This was so good. I melted this um, yesterday or the day before and I'm gonna be hogging this little bag. Another one that I forgot to include that I've had for a few years, forgive the discolored bag, but this is pumpkin cookies and milk. This is fresh from the oven pumpkin spice cookies with warm sweetened milk. This one's not really a favorite of mine just because this is a little bit too much pumpkin spice forward for what I like from a pumpkin blend, but it is a good performer and um, this is probably not one I would pick up again because I don't like a ton of pumpkin spice. See, I haven't melted it yet, but this is pumpkin cake batter. This is pumpkin, ginger, allspice, cinnamon, brown sugar, nutmeg, molasses, yellow cake batter, and vanilla frosting. This is more of a pumpkin that I think I can get behind. There is some fall spices in there, a little bit of the cinnamon and ginger in there, but it's not a heavy spice. The pumpkin's creamy, and I really get that brown sugar, molasses, and the yellow cake batter note. It smells really good. Um, looking forward to melting that. Next up is holiday and winter blends in bakery bags and loaves. I'm just gonna put the loaves in here because some of them are crossovers. First up is strawberry pine, and this is fresh picked strawberries and fresh pine. Um, I need to get some more of this this year because this is the last that I have, and it is a fantastic scent. <laughs> Who knew? Strawberries and pine trees. And I have been surprised there's actually other vendors out there that have that kind of combination. I've tried a few of them. This still is my favorite of them. I feel like it's the best um, strawberry and combination with like overall. Oh, it's so, so good. 
um, don't knock until you try it. I've chopped all of this. Um, so it was like a big reindeer and a bunch of other shapes, but um, definitely another favorite from Southbound. <laughs> and I honestly, I could melt this any time of the year, but I do particularly love this in the winter. It's a nice change of pace from spiced and other type of tree scents. Um, it just kind of changes the pace a little bit, but it still feels wintry, and I really love this one. And next up, this is a little bit odd of a winter scent, I guess. Technically, I feel like this it would be better melted during the summer, but the name and the idea behind the combination is a very holiday themed one and I've rebagged a bakery bag. This is Elf Treats. It's candy, candy canes, candy corn, and syrup with effervescent spicy soda pop bubbles. So if you've ever watched the movie Elf with Will Ferrell, you know he talks about the different four, the four food groups which are candy, candy canes, candy corn, and syrup. And that is this and a scent. It is a kind of spicy, fizzy, very sweet soda scent. Um, not one I would pick up again, but that's largely because I'm not a big soda scent fan in wax. I hadn't melted this in about two years, so I did melt a little bit recently. And that spicy note reminds me of those red hot cinnamon mint ribbon candies from around the holidays, if you ever had those as a kid, and mixed with really, really sweet fizzy pop. It's not a scent that's for me. Um, I may not even be able to melt the rest of this bag just because I'm so burnt out on fizzy pop scents. But if you like Coca-Cola fizzy pop scents, you might enjoy this one. So I had a few other items that were Christmas and fall scents that um, I forgot were in a like holiday box. So I'm going to pop them in here. First up is the bakery bag of Winter Palace. The scent notes are pink sugar, plums, dark cherries, and sweet oranges with peppery, woody undertones. I know this is one that a lot of people love who are like OG fans of Southbound. And I think this scent is also offered by the Bathing Garden, although I'm not 100% sure if it's the exact same scent notes. Um, I have not melted this yet, but based on cold, I get that kind of sweet orange and a lot of a peppery woodsy note. And the peppery woodsy reminds me of something. Right now, I just cannot put my finger on what that is. It might be kind of like a crushed pine needle that it's reminding me of. I'm not exactly sure, but I need to melt this one. It'll definitely be one I get to sometime this winter, and I'm curious to see how this um, smells once it's melted. Another one was sugared, spru sugared spruce cookies, and the scent notes are cassis, spruce, fur needles, sweet sugar crystals, and frosted sugar cookies. I don't think I have melted this one yet. Um, on cold, I get a lot of the sugar cookie note in here, which smells really good with the fur. And that's what I get, a really sweet sugar cookie with fur and spruce in here. I'm not really picking up on the cassis, um, but I have not melted this particular blend. I have melted sugared spruce on its own, and that one was a really sweet spruce scent. This is exactly what you would expect. Um, kind of like it was a spruce needle that was kind of crystallized in sugar. So I haven't tried it with the cookie, but I'll probably get around to this one this year. Y'all have been digging into some of these already. Um, I had more of these about two months ago, but I had a hard time resisting them. First up, um, I'll just compare these two. I've talked about this in another video, but Christmas tree cookies, the scent note is pine, fresh lime, cardamom, pepper, and delicious frosted sugar cookies. Both of these were new scents last year in 2022. This one, the Christmas tree cookies is more of a bakery scent and it has a little bit of a bright 
note to it from the lime. The spices are not too heavy. You definitely get the pine and a little bit of the spice, but it's just not an overwhelming spice scent. And it is really good. I probably should have picked up more because I didn't realize how much it would kind of wind up melting after the pre-order back in October. But now I, I only have like two pieces left. So I'll probably finish this one up this year. And then I already had a bag of this Baking Spirits Bright, but I did just get another loaf of this because I love this scent. Um, and I've been hoarding until I got this loaf in, which I just got in like last week. So now I can get back to melting the rest of this bag that I picked up last year. The scent notes are fur needles, orange peel, warm spices, fresh baked cookies, pine sap, powdered sugar, and for rich buttercream. And this one is not as bakery forward a scent. I feel like it is quite heavy on the pine and fur. And you get some of the spices and the buttercream. The spices to me are a little bit of the allspice and maybe ginger or cardamom. It's peppery and um, I really, really like this one. It is very strong also. So only a little bit in my warmers goes a long way. Um, it is a nice, different kind of evergreen tree scent. This video is getting long, so I'm going to go ahead and break it into another part. Stay tuned for part three. Thank you for watching.